हेलो स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू होप एवरी वन ऑफ यू इज़ फिट एंड फाइन एट योर होम्स स्टूडेंट्स आई एम योर मैथ्स टीचर मिसिस मोनिका शर्मा फ्रॉम कैलिफोर्निया पब्लिक स्कूल टूडे वी विल डू द सम्स ऑफ एक्सरसाइज टेन पॉइंट थ्री ये स्टूडेंट्स वन इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग एज ऑलरेडी आई हैव सेंड यू दीज यूनिट्स एंड देयर कन्वर्जन एंड आई टोल्ड यू दैट Uh, you should revise and learn all these, and you have to write in your maths fair notebook. Yes, these are available in your uh, school app, school homework app. Yes. So today, with the help of these important things, we will do the sums of exercise ten point three. And here, in the sums of exercise ten point three, we have to do the conversions. Yes, the first sum is there. Write the missing numbers. Here you can see. I n I n is used for inches and F t F t is used for feet. Yes, now we have to convert inches into feet. We have to convert inches into feet. Yes, as I told you in that important things, whenever we have to divide, uh, we have to convert inches into feet. We should divide inches by twelve. So in a part we will do division. One hundred eight inches will be divided by twelve, and we will get the answer in feet. Now see how to write this. A part is here. One hundred eight inch is equal to dash feet. Now what we will do? One hundred eight will be divided by twelve, so we will get the answer in feet. When we will divide one hundred eight by twelve, we will get twelve nines. The one hundred eight. So here we got nine. These are the feet. So we will write the answer. One hundred eight inches is equal to nine feet. Yes. Now B part is there. In B part, again ninety eight inches. We have to convert into feet. As well as in inches in these both units. So here again we will do the division. Ninety-eight will be divided by twelve. When we will divide ninety-eight by twelve, twelve eights the ninety-six. Yes, two left. So here eight it is feet and the remainder it will remain as inches. So here in the answer we will write. Ninety-eight inch is equal to eight feet and two inch. Yes. After that, C part is there. In C part, the statement is eighteen feet is equal to dash inch. Here you have to convert eighteen feet is equal to dash. Inch, as in the important things I told you, whenever you have to convert feet into inches, then feet must be multiplied by twelve. And here you can see in the same way eighteen feet. So here we will multiply eighteen by twelve, and we will get the answer in inches. When we will do multiplication, here we will get. Two hundred sixteen. So eighteen feet is equal to two hundred sixteen inches. Yes. Next is D part. Here you can see forty inches is equal to dash feet dash inch. Yes. As we have done B part in the same way, we will do this. D part. What is the statement in D part? That is forty inch is equal to dash feet dash in. Yes. Now, whenever we have to convert inches into feet, so what we are doing? We are dividing it by twelve. When we will divide it by twelve, what we will get? Twelve three is the thirty six. And here left four. So these will be feet, and the remainder will be inches. So here we got forty inch is equal to three feet and four inches. 
yes after that e part is there what is the statement in e part we have to do conversion 5 feet 24 inches into inches means firstly we have to convert feet into inches as already we know when we have to convert feet into inches we have to multiply feet by 12 5 feet 24 inch is equal to dash inch so here two units are there what we will do 5 feet plus 24 inch now these are already in inches we will convert 5 feet into inches yes 5 feet we have to convert into inches how we will convert we will multiply it by 12 12 fives are 60 inches here 60 inches now here we will write 60 inches plus 24 inch when we will add these both we will get 84 inches yes so means 5 feet 24 inch is equal to 84 inches yes so here in the blank we will write 84 now f part is here 141 inches and we have to convert into feet and inches yes so here how we will do 141 inch is equal to dash feet and dash inches yes 141 inches when we have to convert inches into feet yes then we are going to divide it by 12 now see how we will do division 141 divided by 12 12 ones the 12 then 1 here again 12 ones the 12 here we will get 9 so 11 feet and 9 inches so 141 inches 11 feet and 9 inches will be there yes now there is sum number 2 in sum number 2 we have to do conversion yes tons into quintals and quintals into tons and quintals into kilograms let's see how to do these sums yes sum number 2 a part is there 13 tons is equal to dash quintals yes first of all let me remind you yes that i have sent you this important uh, things page in smartly study app here you can see one ton is equal to 10 quintal yes and one quintal is equal to 100 kilogram convert tons into quintal when we are going to convert tons into quintals then multiply tons by 10 multiply tons by 10 yes and here you can see the same situation is there here we have to convert tons into quintal we have to turn turns into quintal so what we will do we will write uh, sorry we will multiply here turns to by 10 so 13 multiplied by 10 when we will multiply 13 by 10 we will get 130 so here 13 turns is equal to 130 quintals yes so here we will write 130 quintals then in b part what is the statement there is 12 quintals is equal to dash kilogram yes here when we have to convert quintals into kilogram then we are multiplying quintals by 100 we are multiplying quintals by 100 yes so here 12 will be multiplied by 100 we will get 1200 so 12 quintals is equal to 1200 kilogram 
yes 1200 kg yes after that c part 151 quintals is equal to dash kilogram it is same as b part here 112 was multiplied by 100 here 151 quintals is equal to dash kilogram so here again we will multiply 151 by 100 here we will get with 151 we will get two zeros yes we will now it will become 15100 kilogram yes 151 quintals is equal to 15100 kilograms yes after that d part is there in d part the statement is 1200 quintals 1200 quintals and we have to write it in tons when we have to write quintals into tons then quintals will be divided by 10 quintals will be divided by 10 so 1200 will be divided by 10 when we will divide 1200 by 10 10 ones the 10 Ten to the twenty. Again, ten zeros the zero here. Yes, so here we got one hundred twenty. So twelve hundred quintals means one hundred twenty tons. Yes. After that, there is E part. In E part, what is there? we have to convert 5 tons into kilograms we have to convert 5 tons into kilograms yes in 1 ton there are 1000 kilograms yes so while converting tons into kilogram we will multiply tons by 1000 we will get 5000 and here 5 tons will be is equal to 5000 kilograms yes then next is f part 140 quintals 140 quintals is equal to dash kilogram yes now we have to convert quintals into kilogram so quintals will be multiplied by 100 when we will multiply 14 ones the 14 And one, two, and three, three zeros. Here will be fourteen thousand. Yes, so we will get fourteen thousand kilogram. One hundred forty quintals is equal to fourteen thousand kilogram. Yes. Now next is there sum number three. The weight of a blue whale is seven tons. find its weight in kilograms now here 7 tons we have to convert into kilograms so here for this what we will do firstly we will write weight of blue whale that is 7 tons now 7 tons is to be converted into kilograms yes then tons will be multiplied by 1000 we will get 7000 so weight of blue whale is 7000 kilograms yes now next is there is 1215 quintals of grain in the truck that is in the truck how many kilograms of grain does the truck have yes weight of here we will write weight of grain in the truck that is uh, 1215 quintals and we have to convert quintals into kilograms 
yes then quintals into kilograms so we should multiply here quintals by 100 when we will do multiplication this number multiplied by 1 the same number will be there and two zeros we will write here so it will become kilograms we, because we have to tell the weight in the kilograms so we will write weight of grain in the truck is 12,000 sorry uh, 1 lakh 21,500 kilograms yes with this this exercise is over and you have to complete this exercise in your maths fair notebook in good handwriting thanks and have a beautiful day